can either make you or break you. Choose them carefully. Proverbs 12 and verse 26. The righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. This week, we'd like to take some time just to talk about friends, friendships, and the relationships that we are surrounded with. Now, friends in general, when we talk about it, it seems to probably only appeal to the teenagers and young adults who are still going through school and college. And of course, uh, that's uh, something very relevant to that age group. Uh, but also for those of us who are professionals, who spend most of our time in a professional setting, uh, working with people uh, uh, and interacting on the basis of professional relationships, uh, we too, uh, uh, in our stage in life, also have friends, people that we uh, not just relate to on a professional basis or uh, for business reasons, uh, but we relate to them more as uh, at a personal level, at a friendship level. And so we want to explore from the Word of God, what does the Bible have to say on this area of our relationships and on friendships? And this could, some of the things we talk about could of course apply uh, to a variety of scenarios, even including uh, the professional setting and friendships that we have, relationships that we have uh, in the workplace. Now, the, at the very beginning, we see here in, in Proverbs 12 and verse 26 that the Bible tells us to choose our friends carefully because we know that they can have a great influence on us. So being wise in the choice of the relationships, being wise in the kinds of people who we interact with and at what level we interact with. Now, of course, uh, in a professional setting or even a classroom setting you may not have the choice of who sits with you in the classroom or in a professional setting you may not have we may not have the choice on whom we have to deal with in business it's just you know organization to organization and you will have to work with so and so and have to relate with so and so you don't have the choice on that but we do have the choice on the influence that we give to them into our lives we do have the choice on the kinds of friendships that on the level at which that friendship will go or we could just keep it as a very casual uh, friendship or we could let that go into a more meaningful level of friendship that then begins to impact our lives and influence our lives our th thinking our behavior our, our choices are all affected through friendships that we have around us and so the bible tells us that the righteous must choose his friends carefully. Or as we read from 1 Corinthians 15, it says, don't be deceived, evil company corrupts good habits. That means I shouldn't fool myself. If I am spending time with the wrong kinds of people, with what the Bible refers to here as evil company, even if I am somebody who has good habits, my good habits could eventually get degraded, could get corrupted simply because of the company that I'm maintaining. So, as we talk about friendships, the first thing we must keep in mind is the instruction from the Word of God. Choose your friends carefully. Who are the people that you're giving access to in your life? How are they influencing your life? Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us wisdom they know how to choose friends, relationships carefully. People who will affect us, influence us, either bless us or degrade what we have. Help us, Lord, with wisdom to choose friendships carefully. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.